Hi, I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speed Screed. I'm here today to talk about flow screed minimum thickness. Uh, it's a question that we're often asked is, I've only got 10 mil, I've only got 20 mil, is it okay for the, the, the flow screed? So I'll try to answer that here and now for you. When we're talking about flow screed, generally we're talking about the calcium sulfate version. So this is the one without cement and uh, has a calcium sulfate binder uh, as opposed to the cementitious version. There is a cementitious version, uh, but it currently only accounts for a very small percentage of the, of the market uh, of the flowing screed. So we're looking at calcium sulfate, which is pump applied and uh, it can be used in a variety of different circumstances. So it's going to be used as a subfloor. So if you're looking that you've got a structural floor and you need a screed on top, uh, then this product's ideal. It can be used in bonded, unbonded, uh, floating construction, floating construction with or without underfloor heating pipes. It's... Uh, suitable for residential and commercial floors. So just to get around to the minimum thicknesses, so if we're looking at the specialist calcium sulfate pump screed, so this is a, a product that's been devised to go very thinly, bonded and unbonded. So bonded to the substrate, it'll be 15 mil. So you've got to make sure the substrate is clean, sound, dry, it isn't contaminated, so there may be a bit of preparation there because the bond is only going to be as good as the substrate. So if the substrate's not good, then you're not going to get the bond, it's going to delaminate and you, you could potentially have issues. So check the substrate. If you're using the uh, general calcium sulfate, that will go down bonded at 25 mil. If we're moving on to unbonded, then that's when you've got a membrane in between the substrate and the screed. So that could be a slip membrane or it could be a, a DPM. With the specialist calcium sulfate product, you're looking at 15 mil unbonded, so down to a, a, a remarkable 15 mil. If it's the regular calcium sulfate, then you're actually looking at a 30 mil minimum uh, for that. So if we move on to floating construction, so that could be thermal insulation or acoustic insulation, you're looking at 35 mil domestic and 40 mil commercial. If you've got uh, underfloor heating pipes, then you need to, to work on the coverage above the pipes. So generally heating pipes are around 15 mil for the water system and for calcium sulfate, you, the general product, you need to be 30 mil above those pipes. So an overall depth of a minimum of 15. Of course, take into account whereabouts your high spot is. And if you use the specialist, uh, there is a specialist product uh, designed to go thinly with uh, heating pipes. And that will allow you to go 20 mil above the pipes, which means that you've got 35 mil total screed depth. So I hope that uh, that helps with the minimum thicknesses. I hope that clarifies that. If there's anything else that you need to know, if you've got any further questions, please get in touch and we'd be happy to answer them. Thank you.